Hey guys, what's up? This video might be a little bit of a downer, but I gotta be real with you guys. As you know, I am not a bootlicker. I'm not a Sega bootlicker. I tell it like it is. I usually like to stay neutral on things until the product is out. But in this case, I'm not talking about the product. I'm talking about the outcome. So first of all, let's talk about Sonic Colors Ultimate since that game is coming out in less than three months. But before I do, be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff hit that bell so we don't miss a single video i post but yeah man i seriously think sega needs to delay sonic colors ultimate they they need to delay it because that game is starting to look jank it's really starting to look jank it's reminding me of sonic adventure dx you know at first i was like okay this game looks great i don't know what people are talking about but the more and more I've seen of this game, the more I am starting to get worried. Very worried. Let's talk about the bloom effects. The bloom effects look great, right? But it's a bit too much bloom effects. Like, the problem I have about the bloom effects is that some areas have too much bloom and some areas don't have any. Some lack bloom. Like, I even made a post about it. It looks like Tropical Resort got closed. It's like, damn, Sonic and Tails really did break into, you know, Eggman's Interstellar Amusement Park early because this shit looks closed. You know, I don't know why there's like a lack of lights everywhere else except in some areas. I don't know if the lights will change as you progress through the level or if this is just like detail, like the more you play the game, the more lit it is. I don't know, but that's very weird. And also other things like the purple road in uh, Starlight Carnival, it looks very washed out. The white balance is too high and the bloom is turned on to the max versus the uh, purple road in Starlight Carnival in the original Wii. And it's funny because, you know, a lot of people emulated Sonic Colors on Dolphin and upscaled it to like, I think, 1080 or 4K. And it looks really good in 4K, as good as a Wii game can look. And then you compare it with Colors Ultimate and Colors Ultimate kind of looks like a downgrade in some areas. And that shouldn't be the case. Also, let's not forget about the audio effects glitching. Like, that's happened several times, many times in the video I'm watching. And like, you know, the sound effects when Sonic hits a spring just pops up randomly in the video like i'm like what is going on and also like i said the sound effects are very misplaced like this is the first time in a sonic game the sound effects don't belong in certain areas i don't know i don't know if it's because this game was not made in house by sonic team it was made by blind squirrel entertainment but i mean that is no excuse even big red button who worked on sonic boom rise of lyric that failure of a game it still had the correct sound effects. The ring sounded like rings. Bounce pads sounded like bounce pads. And, you know, different things sound like different things. So, I don't know. This is weird because, like, the dash panels will be sounding like springers. The combo rings will be sounding like springers and combo rings mixed together. Just the, the golden coins or the sun medals, whatever they're called. Sometimes they'll, they'll sound like a one-up. Or sometimes they'll sound like something new, completely different. It is so weird. I don't understand it. It's very, very weird. Also, there's a weird pause in Asteroid Coaster when Sonic is transitioning, when he's leaving one of the inside rooms, the interiors, and getting into the exterior. There's a pause, and it reminds me of, like, you know those DVD players back then? In the middle of the film, there will be, like, a two-second pause because it had to load the rest of the film. And, you know, that, that was normal for DVDs back then, but not for video games. That's what I'm getting. Compared to the original... The original on the Wii never had this problem. It's only Colors Ultimate having these random pauses. That is weird. You know, now, as I discussed with Prem, they obviously lost the code from the Nintendo Wii. There is no way they could get that code to port Sonic Colors and remaster it. So they literally had to remake the game in another engine. So is Colors Ultimate technically a remake? I don't know. It's still considered a remaster, but they basically had to rebuild things from the ground up because you know they don't have the nintendo code from the wii that's uh you know expired or whatever you know and it's on an old engine so i mean kudos to blind squirrel entertainment for that but they need more time they definitely need more time i mean we haven't even seen the cutscenes yet can you believe that guys there have been so many criticisms over the uh gameplay we haven't even seen how the cutscenes are going to look and i'm worried about that you know so they definitely need some more time and also the forced easiness is still unclear. I still don't understand how this tail save is going to work or the tail save mode. Is it mandatory? Is it implemented in the game? You can't avoid it no matter what. Or is it like uh, an option? Like 
critic mode like for people who want an easier smoother like assist mode in mario odyssey is it something you can select or is it something that's forced on you in the game because if there's one thing sega has always been guilty of throughout sonic's history in the 2000s is forcing gimmicks onto the player without making it optional they always do that like even if there's exploration like uh sonic boom yeah shatter crystal they forced exploration on you you could not progress to the next level without collecting a certain number of you know collectibles and that's just not how to do an exploration based game they they always drop the ball in that stuff they always force things on you i don't understand that they always do that there's countless of games where sega forces things on you i hope they don't do that with tail save you know that shit should be optional there's a whole bunch of issues that i'm missing but this game is obviously not ready for september that's roughly two months actually it's not even three months it's less than three months so it's roughly two months left they have to actually fix things and then the remainder of the month is to ship things mass produce everything so they can ship it out in stores and to consumers they don't have enough time to fix all these issues because there's a lot more that we're not seeing because we haven't seen the entire game so it's just crazy man how sega gonna fuck up a game that was good like i mean i don't understand like you guys can't get the boost right anymore inside forces you can't even get your own games right that was well, it was good sonic got like a 79 percent metacritic score basically an 80 if you round it and you guys like i doubt you guys are going to get 80 percent metacritic score it's going to be down to like the low 70s i'm pretty sure so please like this needs to be postponed to like november or the holiday season didn't sonic colors come out in november of 2010 let me know in the comments guys if it came out november i don't know why they're putting this out in september i've never seen a sonic game come out in september in my life i can't recall so they need to push this to november seriously you know that that'll give them enough time to fix things because this is going to be sadx all over again i guess it's a good thing they canceled the sonic adventure remakes because i mean after colors ultimate if they can't get that right you know damn well they're going to fuck up an adventure remake you know one guy was like i don't even want them to remake unleashed or remaster unleashed don't remaster it just port it or don't do anything to it at all and it's funny because i was like yo but if you use this logic that means sega can't fuck up on a sonic 06 remake or a sonic 06 remaster because i mean it's already bad so you can only go up from there but what do you guys think about this let me know down in the comments below are you nervous about colors ultimate or do you think that sega is going to do a good job and september 7th is enough time to fix all the bugs and everything because i don't know man like this isn't this supposed to be like azuka's favorite sonic game or favorite modern sonic game so i, I just i don't know man and this is also making me worried about origins because if they're fucking up colors ultimate how much more origins they can fuck up the classics too but all right let's talk about sonic rangers now now let me get this out of the way i have never played zelda breath of the wild before i haven't played much of the 3d zelda games to be honest i mostly played the 2d ones you know but i know how great the zelda games are any gamer should know how iconic and how revered the zelda games are most of their games are flawless. Breath of the Wild is simply a masterpiece. It's a critically acclaimed game, won Game of the Year in 2017 Game Awards, and it's one of the best-selling video games of all time. It has a 97% Metacritic score on the Switch, 96% on the Wii U, and some people call this the best game they've ever played. And it also sold nearly 8 million copies. So Sonic Rangers got some competitions. Now, when I wrote this in the community tab, I was like, wait, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out in 2022? Sonic Rangers is fucked. You know, I was so disappointed, like less than 2% of y'all actually understood what I was saying. Even this guy wrote about it. He's like, how are you guys missing the point? You think I'm trashing on the game that hasn't come out yet? Or you guys were saying, I'm going to buy the game. I don't even play Zelda, blah, 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 this and that. Like you guys are missing the point. I'm not talking about the game being good or bad. We can't predict the future like that. I'm just talking about the outcome, how the critics will review the games, how other gamers will review it and how it will sell. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing to Sega, how a game sells. We haven't seen anything yet besides a CGI trailer. However, we do know from all the leaks that every single one of them has called it a Breath of the Wild clone, or they have said Sonic Rangers takes heavy inspiration from Breath of the Wild. That is for sure, that Sonic Rangers is going to be an open world style like Zelda Breath of the Wild. So that's why I said this game is fucked, because Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out the same year, 
And if these games come out in proximity of each other, that's going to be bad news for Rangers. So, like I said before, when I was saying Colors Ultimate should be delayed, I think Sonic Rangers should come out earlier. Honestly, I don't know the state of this game, and the leakers have said everything. But if Sonic Team's been working on this game since Forces came out, they need to make sure this game comes out in May. Exactly a year from when they showed the trailer. Because if they release this in May, it will capitalize on Sonic's success. We got Sonic Prime in March, Sonic Movie 2 in April, Sonic Rangers comes out in May. Yo, it's going to sell so well. And actually, I think Sega started making Sonic Rangers in 2019 because I remember Takashi Zuka said they started development on the next Sonic game, the next big Sonic title in 2019. So, okay, so they've roughly been working on Sonic Rangers for two years. But I think by next year, that'll make it three years. And I think, you know, they should have enough time. No wonder this game was so rough when a lot of the leakers played it in 2020 because the game was like only a year a year and a half old so i think by now they have ironed a lot of those issues now as for breath of the wild 2 that game will most likely come out in the holidays next year there's no way that game is coming out early next year and we all know nintendo nintendo loves to delay their games you know i mean remember breath of the wild 1 was supposed to come out like i think 2015 yeah, it was first revealed in the summer of 2013 E3. It was supposed to come out 2015. They delayed it like three times. Then it was supposed to come out in 2016. Then it was going to come out at the end of 2016. Then they pushed it over to 2017 to come out on the Switch and the Wii U. So I remember that game got delayed so much, but when it came out, it was a masterpiece. So I am pretty sure Breath of the Wild 2 is going to get delayed at least once, knowing Nintendo. Just like what uh, Miyamoto said. But yeah, that's Nintendo's philosophy. Nintendo has no problems delaying a game <laughs> inevitably. I mean, look at Metroid Prime 4, look at Bayonetta 3. When the game comes out, it's actually great. It's not like Sonic Forces. So Sonic Rangers cannot afford to come out within a week or two with Breath of the Wild 2. Whether it's a week before or a week after, it, Sonic Rangers should be far apart. Now, I don't think Sonic Rangers should come out after Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. I don't think so. Because if Breath of the Wild 2 comes out late next year, Sonic Rangers comes out after that, that's just bad. Sonic Rangers needs to come out before Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. And I think it should come out earlier. I don't think they should wait for a holiday season because I'm pretty sure the game will be done by then. Because after Forces, I just don't I just don't trust Sega anymore about delaying a game. They they delayed Team Sonic Racing, and that game was buggy and glitchy as hell. I mean it was a good game. It was a good racing game. Not better than uh, All-Stars Racing Transform, but that game had so many bugs, Team Sonic Racing. And it's like, wait, didn't they delay this game? So anytime Sega delays a Sonic game, I don't believe them. So Sonic Rangers needs to come out like the first half of 2022. Otherwise, it will be overshadowed by Breath of the Wild 2 so much. Already, critics are going to call Rangers a Breath of the Wild clone. At least, you know, if the game comes out and it's good, it can at least merit its own praise, whether it gets an 8 out of 10, a 7.5 out of 10, or whatever, or an 8.5. But if it comes out after Breath of the Wild 2, then it's in trouble, because not only are people going to compare Breath of the Wild, they're going to compare Breath of the Wild 2 and the new things that game is doing. And like I said, Rangers also won't make enough money if they release it too close. Sonic Forces came out like... <laughs> around the same time as Odyssey and Forces did not make that much money. I don't care what Sega said, they have been tight-lipped about the success of Forces. All they said was that it's all good. It's all so good that they stopped supporting the game and they focused all their energy on Sonic Forces Mobile. I don't know how much money Forces on the console made, but I guarantee you Sonic Forces on mobile made way more money because they're still updating it to this day. So I mean, they can't fool me. And look at Team Sonic Racing and Crash Team Racing. That was pitiful. Team Sonic Racing came out, like, I think shortly before Crash Team Racing. Yeah, so the moment Crash Team Racing Nitro Field came out, Team Sonic Racing was just a goner. That game just went away into oblivion and obscurity. So that game was irrelevant when Crash Team Racing came out. And I don't want that to happen with Sonic Rangers because that will be a huge blow because it's a AAA title. It will kill the momentum of this game, and this game has to be good because the critics and fans are going to murder Sonic Rangers if it's anything less than Generations tier. It has to be above Generations. And the budget has to be big for this game, like Unleashed. I don't want to settle for a low-budget open-world Sonic game, seriously. You know, we don't need another budgeted title like Forces or TSR. Because, like I said, it will still be compared to Breath of the Wild games in the sequel. So it at least needs to go out, like, unleashed. So I'd like to think Sonic Team is working hard on this game enough to capitalize on its sales and success. 
by releasing it exactly a year from its reveal. Because we don't need a holiday season for this game. After all, Colors Ultimate isn't that coming out in September? So, obviously, with that logic, Sega doesn't need to release Rangers in the holidays. Unless if the game is just not ready, which, um, that's not good. And it's crazy, man. I haven't really loved a Sonic game since I started my channel. With the exception of Sonic Mania. You know, I started my channel because of Sonic Generations. I started it in November 28th of 2011. You know, that was less than a month after Generations came out. And since then, there hasn't been a single Sonic game that I have loved as much as Generations besides Mania. I loved it more. You know, that one is an exception. And I made a joke. I was like, man, maybe my channel is the reason why Sonic hasn't been successful lately. I don't know. So, yeah, man, I have no problem with games copying from others or being inspired by others, as long as it's not a cheap ripoff. You know, I mean, after I look at Mario 3D World, didn't they get some influences from Sonic Colors with the whole theme park with Bowser? And Mario Odyssey, to this day, I say Mario Odyssey copies some things from Sonic Unleashed. But of course, the Mario games will always get the higher scores than the Sonic games, even 3D World vs. Colors. So, um, yeah, that's all I hope for Rangers, man. Colors Ultimate needs to be delayed, while Sonic Rangers needs to come out earlier. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Rangers is going to be just fine? And I shouldn't be comparing it with Zelda Breath of the Wild, even though everyone else will, and the critics. Do you think it's still going to sell well? I want to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, that's all I have for now. Make sure to follow the Sonic Rebound Twitter page. I gave some announcements for that. I'm planning on episode 5 to come out around the month of when Colors Ultimate comes out, September. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, that's it. Until next time, I'm out.